HSG is a very helpful test um, to help us understand the lining of the uterine cavity, the shape of the uterine cavity. And the uterine cavity is where a pregnancy implants. So knowing that it's normal, that there isn't some abnormal shape or abnormal structure within the cavity is very helpful. The second piece um, that an HSG um, helps provide information for is whether the fallopian tubes have pathology, whether they are open and allow a egg to um, get fertilized and then move back into the uterine cavity is um, essential to uh, spontaneous conception. An HSG is a procedure where we're going to bring you into a special room that has radiation equipment in there so we can actually use a contrast dye to help evaluate um, the uterus as well as the fallopian tubes. We'll place you essentially in stirrups, so like a normal uh, gynecology exam, we'll place a speculum, and then we're going to place a little tube essentially into the beginning of the cervix and then inject dye through there. This is a type of um, contrast dye that we can actually see using a, another device, uh, the radiation equipment. Um, and then we'll have live images on the screen where we can actually see as the dye is being slowly pushed into the uterus, whether the fallopian tubes are open, whether there's an abnormal shape to the uterine cavity. It's a very helpful real-time imaging procedure. Everybody's experience of an HSG is a little bit different. Some patients may feel nothing. Some patients may feel a little cramping. Some patients may feel a little bit more. Um, maybe it feels maybe more acutely painful, but that usually only lasts for a minute. It depends upon how easily those fallopian tubes open as the uterus expands. Um, we do recommend taking um, Tylenol or ibuprofen, which can help, but it, that also depends upon where you are in your cycle and what other procedures you're having performed. Absolutely, absolutely. You can drive yourself home. Um, there shouldn't be any reason to think that you're not able to um, resume your normal day afterwards. So there's a very specific window in which an HSG is performed, and that is between day six and day 10 optimally. So during this point of your cycle, and this is using day one of the cycle as the first day of full, full menstrual flow. So what ends up happening is your menses commences and finishes, and then the lining of the uterus is very thin. And particularly day, during day six to 10, this is during the follicular phase, what we end up finding is the lining is thin, so if there's an abnormality, we're going to find it easier, as well as if there is something going on with the fallopian tube. This is before ovulation has occurred um, at this particular point in the window, and the fallopian tubes are more likely to be open and receptive and able to move fluid at this point. If you have any questions about the HSG before it's performed, go, feel free to ask. That's, that's what we're there for, is to help explain things as we, as we go along. We shouldn't have anxiety over it. It's really going to be a procedure that's going to be super helpful for you and very short, very simple, and we want you to understand and be part of um, part of the testing and journey.